Thank you so much, John, for um, agreeing to do this video, uh, just so other people can get an idea what the process and the procedure is like for using Lenny. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about you and your tinnitus before you were aware of Lanier and how much it affected your life? I've been diagnosed with um, tinnitus about eight years ago and I'd lived with it quite well, um, got used to it. Um, and then I had a, a, a about six months period where it, it really seemed to increase the noise and the more it, it affected my life, my working life and also my sleep patterns um and that's when i decided to um to pursue what other alternative treatments there might be to help me with it and when you came across the linear device were you initially skeptical or thinking oh fantastic there's something here what did you think um i think you always think about because it's new and it's not something that we're all aware of something that was operating in the states but not necessarily here and there's the cost implication of it and you start to you start to think well is it worth rolling the dice really and taking the chance with it um but then i thought about it um and reflected on the fact that what i would spend going on holiday or what i'd spend um, in a period of time um in my life versus the rest of my life with dealing with an issue so the cost part of it started to uh, reduce when i put it into that context uh -huh. um and it was something that i thought it was worth trying because it had got to the point where it was making me it was taking over a little bit whereas it hadn't done in previous years okay and the process of making an appointment and, and being assessed for the linear device was that easy was it um a good experience were, were yeah it was it was very easy um the availability online you could look at the appointments that were there um it was easy to to you know to confirm everything there was admin support um and then the explanation about linear and how it works and sh the showing of the device and then time to really reflect before you sort of jumped in and said yes or no you had yeah. time to go away and just have a coffee and think right okay what am I doing? Let's let's have a think about what what I want to do with it before you actually, uh, as I said, go yes or no. Yeah, no pressure whatsoever. No, not not at all. And there was options for if you wanted to get it, pay for it up front, pay for it in instalments. Think about different you know processes. Everybody's in different financial situations, so you've got to think about the balance of the cost versus your health. And that, you know sometimes that's challenging. For people so there was lots of options that you could consider good and when you actually got the device and took it home mm -hmm. and started using it how how easy was it to use and how easy was it to set aside time during the day to to have your let yeah i think on the last point that's where i've challenged the most if you're a busy person you're working full time and your leisure time's quite structured you know you've got a house the house to do and you've got family friends kids whatever finding an hour a day doesn't sound a lot but it can be so yeah. i that's been the weakest part for me i've not been uh giving it that hour all of the time um, and i tend to split it up to half an hour in the morning and then half an hour pre-bed and it and the pre-bed uh, experience has helped me sleep better as well um, oh, because obviously tinnitus can in my experience it can be worse at night when it all goes quiet and you put the head on the pillow um, but if you do if i do it pre-bed uh just for that half an hour and the machine actually runs for half an hour so it's quite good it switches off at that half an hour point then i've found that i've had better sleep and did you get any spikes in your tinnitus after using the device that then settled um yeah that the the initial period it took a while for it to to start to uh to in my in my experience for it to work and then the, and then it it was really really working then if i if i pulled away and didn't do it as much then i felt it coming back uh -huh. so um so you have to manage that you have to manage it and not go into too long a period so i've just been on holiday and during that 10 day holiday i found it really hard to use it and i've noticed coming back uh, that i've just got a slightly 
you know, it's just slightly worsened again. So uh -huh. I think you have to learn to manage that. I've been using it about six to eight months now. Uh -huh. And I could say that during the day, I don't even notice that I've got tinnitus. It's it's um, it's calmed it and I'm living without any any knowledge of it. Um, it's only in the evenings, as I've said before, sort of pre-bed and bed. Um, I think before in the evenings you've got the tv you've got the noise that perhaps in the day you don't have and that in my case it it it, it makes it, it appears that it makes the tinnitus worse uh, okay. that loud that those loud sounds so um so yes i think it hasn't i haven't got to the point where i've used it and it's gone but it's gone from a 10 to a 2 and yeah. then if it creeps back to a three or a four, then I just have to increase the amount of time that I'm using the, the device. So that's interesting because normally we say do eight weeks, we change the program, do another eight weeks, and then you should be able to leave it. Mm. But you've been, have you, did you use it consistently for the first 16 weeks? Yes, I did. I used it for that 16 weeks and then I have left it. But then I found that if I use it, if I use it maybe just half an hour a day, it keeps it it keeps it there. It, right. it keeps it low. Um, it, whereas, as I've said, this experience of this last ten days, it has increased. I felt not a lot, but maybe one point. I'm more okay. aware of it. And yeah. for me personally, sometimes flying does that to my tinnitus. Yes. So the the pressure um, of, of of the fly can just increase it for a couple of days, and then it and then it'll reduce again. Okay. And um, from from where you are, from where you were with your tinnitus to where mm -hmm. you are now, the overall improvement in your life. Oh gosh, you... it's been great. Um, if, as I've said, ten to a two. Uh, it was it was getting to the point pre the appointment and actually starting to use the device that it was really there. It was it was it was reaching the point where it was causing me. Um, to interrupt my life um but but post it it's as i say I, I, i've worked through it and it's it's i know i've got tinnitus but it's not taking over Did we lose connection? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> All right, you can just cut the, the bit out. Oh, that's fine. That's but fine. So, so we'll just go from where you said, overall, it's been great. Mm. OK. So, but, I'll just ask the question again. So from where you were before with mm -hmm. your tinnitus to where you are now, uh, what's the difference? Oh, it's been great. The The difference is that I was aware of tinnitus every minute of the day. It was I had to had to work at blocking it out. So I might do an activity for an hour. But as soon as my brain was, you know, more was more relaxed, the tinnitus would come back. If I was focused on something, it would go. But if I then went into periods of time during the day, it would be with me all the time. So if we measured that, as I said, on a 10 um, now, um, it, it's 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 great it's, it's radically improved um I, I don't i don't really think about having tinnitus um and it's only as as already said certain certain things that might trigger it a little but nowhere near back to the 10 it was getting i was getting a bit obsessed with it and it was it was irritating it was frustrating um it was hindering I wouldn't want to go to somewhere where there was lots of noise because it was it was it, I knew that it would it would hurt the ear and uh, it, it was so I was pulling away from things whereas now um, it, I don't even think about it. Brilliant. So would you describe it as life changing for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's not it's not eradicated it completely, but it's yeah. com it's suppressed it and yeah. it's made it's made me be able to live with it and 
uh, and it's as I say, most eighty ninety percent of the time, it's as if I don't really remember that I've got it. So you're really enjoying life. Yeah, now. yeah, That's... much, much more. And I've recommended it to a couple of people um, who have had the same experiences of it. Really, really struggling. I have strong tinnitus in one ear, um, get the odd pounding in the other. But I, I'm, I met someone who'd got it really strong in both ears and encourage them to to uh to try the try it um uh, and all the things that i've said today to help them live a better quality of life brilliant okay and and just because i'm aware that not everything mm. for everyone is always rosy have mm -hmm. you had any negatives at all with the device or using it or I had a couple of times where I couldn't get the Bluetooth to work on the earphones uh -huh. um, and therefore you get a bit frustrated because you're ready to go and you've found your half an hour and then it won't work. So yeah. that can be a bit frustrating. But there are really good instructions of how to reset it and, and pair it. And now, now I've in the first few weeks that happened a couple of times but now i know the device then that doesn't happen and i know how to do it yeah. you have to remember to keep getting to keep charging it because when it goes low then the connection gets a bit weaker so you need to keep the the device charged um and for me the only negative is just finding that hour it's really important that you find that hour in the first 16 weeks as you've said that's the most important yeah. um and then I, I would say on average an hour, it's half an hour a day for me. And I okay. only increase it to the hour if if I really feel that it's it's increasing, the sound's increasing again. Lovely. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop the recording and then. Um...